This week's Nerd of the Week is making all of our dreams of becoming a mechanized mutant supervillain come true. Or just helping with abilities and mobility, let's take a look at Danny Clode's third thumb. <laughs> We could all be a new villain called the Polydactyl, cat-based. No, uh, Danny Claude made this for her graduate project, and it is a idea that you could have a third thumb or sixth finger, second thumb on your one finger. Anyway, it would help with a lot of different things, like in the video showed cards, picking things up. Maybe you could use it to hold your phone that's too big for you, or any other electronic devices. You could use it for sports. You can use it for, I'm sure the comments are pointing out other manual activities. You could uh, apply this in a lot of different ways. It, it's really interesting. On it, she said, it is part tool, part experience, and part self-expression. It instigates necessary conversation about the definition of ability. Going on to say, the origin of the word prosthesis meant to add, put on to, so not to fix or replace, but to extend. The third thumb is inspired by the word origin, exploring human augmentation and aiming to reframe prosthetics as extensions of the body. Super beings we could be one day. It is powered with Bluetooth and controlled by pressure sensors in the user's uh, shoe, so their foot would control their other finger ostensibly. It's not the same as actual prosthesis that is um, for people who may have lost a hand or an arm and uh, are able to control it with their minds somewhat. Uh, it is more of an extension rather than a replacement, as she said. I think it's pretty cool and it's cool to think of, I mean, this is kind of, I wouldn't say a body hack because it's external to the body, but I think it's a new way of considering the human form and what you can do or what you could do potentially. So for that reason, Danny Claude is the Nerd of the Week. If you have a Nerd of the Week suggestion, please let us know here or via social media.